What would it be like if one day you could explore your unique spirit animal's essence? What? Have I become a crow fairy now? Huh? Don't forget to subscribe to WBOA Fairy Tale to continue following the story. In a world filled with injustice, the fairy race, known as the fairies, was considered a noble and powerful class. In contrast, ordinary humans were considered the lowest class. Heidi's family was no exception. Her mother was seriously ill due to the oppression of the fairies, and her younger sister was overly playful and spoiled. Heidi had to work hard every day to support her family. Growing up, Heidi had a shy and reserved nature, making it challenging for her to share her emotions. She longed to become a fairy to gain respect and rescue her family from poverty. Recently, rumors had surfaced in the city about a magical stone that could transform humans into fairies. I must obtain that stone. But the high-ranking fairy named Levi owns it! Are you not afraid? <laughs> Heidi disregarded the danger and followed what she knew to the location where the stone was huh? kept. Huh? There it is! Why would someone guard such a valuable item so carelessly? When Heidi touched the mystical stone, a miraculous event occurred. Wonderful! I am now a fairy! But why a crow? Because the crow symbolizes your determination, rebirth huh? and renewal, as well as your dedication. Huh? In truth, the crow is the spirit animal within your soul. My magic will help you reveal that. So that's it. <laughs> huh? Unfortunately, Heidi was caught by the stone's owner. How dare you trespass on my property! You will have to make amends by becoming my bride. What? Never! <laughs> Levi threatened to harm Heidi's family if she didn't comply. From then on, Heidi was forced to live with Levi in his grand cold castle. She managed to send a crow to deliver news to her family. This is our... is our betrothal! You are not allowed to remove it! During the initial period, she despised him. <laughs> huh? ah! Levi had guards patrolling the estate, <laughs> making it impossible for Heidi to escape. Heidi tried various ways, but her efforts were in vain. Despite her resistance, Levi always treated her gently, as if she were a true princess showering her with care, but that didn't mean she was lowering her guard. She loathed these fake fairies more than anyone. Since becoming a crow fairy, Heidi had undergone some unusual changes. Adapting had been difficult. One fine day, Heidi started to see Levi differently. Huh? Oh no! A monster is approaching my old village! Step back and let me handle it! <laughs> Heidi was deeply moved by Levi and shared her family's situation with him. Hmm. I've already taken care of your family. As long as you stay with me, there's no need to worry about anything. Their time together became more peaceful. Heidi began to open her heart and explore the culture <laughs> and history of the fairy race. The fairy race believes in valuing individuals, believing in their own worth and unique talents. I think you also need to find your passion and interests. For the first time, Heidi began to live for herself and do what she loved. Mm. Huh? Gradually, mm. she developed feelings for him. <laughs> she realized that he was different from the deceitful fairies outside. He loved all beings, including humans, <laughs> and always stood up for them. He believed that the fairy race's excessive individualism had led them to mistreat those who were weaker. <laughs> I will change that! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
But this decision led to Levi having many enemies outside. At a party he organized, disaster struck. Is this Levi's wife? I heard she used to be a human. How pitiful. The taunts and gossip made Heidi feel humiliated and hurt. She had to find a way to escape from there. Stay right there. Who are you? I can't allow someone with human blood to enter this place. Get out! <laughs> Heidi had never endured such humiliation. She didn't belong in Levi's world. That night, Levi and Heidi had a serious conversation. Levoy believed huh? that Heidi was no longer safe here and decided to send her home immediately. <sighs> but what about those who are opposing you? Hmm. Don't worry about me. Reunite with your family. I hope you will be safe. I love you, Heidi. The words huh? kept choking inside her mouth. She couldn't respond that love. She didn't have the courage to overcome her shyness and insecurities. Love was something she considered extremely elusive. Someone like Heidi might never have it in her lifetime. What a beautiful mansion! Levi really kept his promise. However, despite huh? the wealth, her family wasn't happy. Huh? Well, you're back, sis. <laughs> Heidi's younger sister, Hallie, regretted not helping her earlier and was remorseful for being careless. <laughs> When she learned that her sister was taken, Hallie tried to find her, but couldn't enter the mansion. I regret it so much, Heidi. If I huh? could turn back time, I would tell you how much I love you. This made Heidi realize that when you love someone, you huh? must express it. Heidi decided to return to Levi to confess her feelings. But now, there was no one in his home. Huh? Huh? The Master has been captured by Cory! Huh? He asked me to give you this letter. <gasps> Cory and Levi were two fairies leading the Supreme Court. <laughs> While Levi aimed to change the injustice, Cory wanted to torment or even exterminate humans. Why do you have to fight for humans when humans can never love you? To prove his point, Cory had cursed Levi. In one month, if Levi cannot make a girl with human blood say, I love you, to him, he will lose all his power. <laughs> From the beginning, everything had been part of Levi's plan. From spreading rumors about the magical stone to intentionally not guarding it. <laughs> Levi transformed Heidi into a crow fairy to ensure her safety and be with her. As the deadline of one month approached, he returned Heidi home. He loved her deeply. I'm sorry. If only I had been more courageous that night. Huh? Heidi unleashed her crow power and rushed to find Levi. 
but it was too late. The one-month deadline had passed. <laughs> Levi was in excruciating pain, feeling his powers draining away. Huh? You monster! Remove the curse on Levi now, or I will report you! <laughs> You're such a foolish girl. Watch this. In the most tense moment, a magical spell appeared. Huh? It turned out that before Levi's mother passed away, she had transferred all her magic to this stone and gave it to him as a protective charm. Heidi, you have proven your love. I can lift the curse on Levi, but you must solve a riddle. I can break, I can be attacked, I can be given, I can be kept, I can be crushed, yet I can be whole at the same time. What am I? Heidi looked at Levi with affectionate eyes and immediately had her answer. Love, it's love. The pure love's light radiated everywhere and <clears throat> Levi regained his strength. <clears throat> they both defeated Corey and brought justice. In the end, Heidi was finally able to say that she loved him sincerely. They lived happily together and used their powers to help humans. <laughs>If one day you discovered a world where you could meet your deceased loved ones, what would you do? Can you overcome that pain? <laughs> Green Snake was no longer here, but even after all this time, White Snake hmm? still couldn't overcome this harsh hmm. truth. You had a nightmare again? It's okay. It's okay. I'm here. Green Snake disappeared. She disappeared again in my dream. Where is Clover? Where is Clover? Mom, what's going on? I was sleeping. Okay. Okay. Green Snake is still here. Green Snake, Mom, you've mistaken me for Auntie again. You impose everything on me, turning me into Auntie's substitute. Auntie's gone! Please don't do that again! You! Despite Devlin's consolation, the daughter knew she was at fault. But why Snake's heart was still shattered into pieces. Taking advantage of her husband's deep sleep, why Snake sadly went to the house where the two sisters lived before. Just then, a shooting star suddenly flew by. Please, God, let me see Green Snake one more time, please. I'm so foolish. How can that happen? She walked tiredly <laughs> under an old tree until the bright light appeared, awakening White Snake. The light opened a strange mm. gate, and on the other side mm. was another world. White Snake was still stunned when she saw someone who looked exactly like Green Snake passing by. <gasps> good, good, Green Snake! Just like White Snake, Green Snake's emotions <laughs> burst when she saw her sister. White Snake immediately wanted to take her sister back through the old gate. But no matter how hard they tried, Green Snake couldn't step through. Why? Why can't you? This is the land of souls. After death, the souls will gather here and live another life. Sister, although hmm. I never forget you, but here I also have a very peaceful life. <gasps> to prove that she was doing well, Green Snake took White Snake everywhere to experience life in the land mm. of souls. Mm. Mrs. Mary, your son sent a bouquet of flowers and a basket of fruits with a message, We are safe. Hope you're reassured. <laughs> ah. Here, the souls can receive things that the living sent to them. So did you receive the things I sent to you? Of course. Mm -hmm. The bouquet of flowers <laughs> you sent last time was so ugly. <gasps> the two sisters had a very happy day until dusk. It's not good. It's getting dark. White Snake, you have to go home now. 
In this land, when it's dark, a type of wild demon formed from grudges will awaken. They fly around everywhere, and as long as a soul has a slightly different scent, they will take it away. You're not from this land. With the taste of the living like that, they can easily find you. White Snake reluctantly returned to the world of the living, even though she didn't want to. <gasps> Don't be sad. The gate is still there. Tomorrow you can come back and visit me again. <laughs> As White Snake walked through the gate, she saw that the sky in the world of the living was already bright. It turns out that these two worlds are reversed in time. When the sky began to darken, White Snake hurriedly returned to the other world, not wanting to miss a moment with her sister. However, she was too eager and arrived in the land of the souls before the sky had fully brightened and was immediately taken away by a terrifying creature. White Snake woke up in a dark, chilly castle. It was the demoness who brought us here. Because we were together all day, the smell of life also clings to me. Huh. Uh, not this scent! She has a pure soul! <laughs> mm. Wait, bring her back! Find a way to lure out that living body! Hmm. Uh. But she hasn't forced me to say anything yet, and you've already been captured! <gasps> hmm. <gasps> huh. Don't be afraid! I won't harm you! In fact, I have a very beneficial deal to offer! <gasps> a beneficial deal? Yes, just give me your magical powers. Stop being a fairy, and I will help Green Snake return to the land of the living. <gasps> no way, sister. Don't listen to her. But this mm. is the greatest desire of White Snake's life. Mm. She is willing to trade her own life for it, because being a fairy is <laughs> nothing compared to this. <laughs> With the power of White Snake, the demoness transformed and became incredibly powerful. She was also a person of integrity, and before leaving, she truly cast a spell so that Green Snake could return to the land of the living. The two sisters happily left the castle and headed towards the gate. Before leaving, Green Snake wanted to say goodbye to her closest friend in the land of the souls. She was happy for White Snake, but before she could finish speaking, her body began to dissolve. Why? Why? Why is this happening? I don't want to leave like this! Green Snake, please save me! It's impossible for my parents to forget about me! When we return to the other world, please help me find out why! <laughs> That's right! This can't be happening! We must find out everything! Hmm. On the way back, many souls were talking and laughing as usual, without knowing why they suddenly disappeared. <laughs> the souls in this land also have limits. If elderly or sick people pass away, their souls here will also disappear when no one remembers them in the living world. But why could it happen at the same time like that? Could it be hmm. the demoness? <sighs> As feared by Green Snake and White Snake, hmm. the one behind all of this <laughs> is the demoness, just a few hours ago. With the power of White Snake, she flew through the gate back to the land of the living hmm? to find her lover. The demoness, when she was alive, was named Ella. <laughs> She once had a beautiful and touching love story with David, but a sudden tragedy struck, and Ella was wrongfully accused and passed away forever. The unresolved bitterness and regret in Ella's heart caused her to turn into the demoness in the realm of souls. The closer Ella was to seeing her beloved one, whom she longed for so much, the more she crumbled 
when she saw that David had a new happy life. In the end, it turns out that only Ella was trapped in the past and unable to move on. The pain and anger made Ella want to destroy everything. If she couldn't intervene in the land of the living, Ella would make all the souls in the land of the dead gradually forgotten like her. When Green Snake and White Snake hmm. arrived, the memories of the living about the deceased were slowly disappearing. That was also the reason why the souls in the realm of souls disappeared suddenly. Ella was found by the two sisters while standing beside a grave, feeling sad and desperate. Because White Snake had been to the realm of souls, even though the demoness could not intervene with humans in the living world, she still affected White Snake. Stop it! Go back to the land of souls! This is not the place for you! Ha <laughs> ha! Forget it! I'd rather lose my soul than go back there! He's about to forget about me anyway, so I'll just disappear! With no <gasps> other choice, White Snake had to defeat the demoness. You fool! If you defeat me, Green Snake will have to return! It's better to let me go! I'll destroy the Land of Souls, and Green Snake will never have to come back! Never! The Land of Souls is where mm. the departed can exist! Even if they can no longer see their loved ones, their memories will become the motivation for the soul to live in a new world! At least, we will both remember each other! Look at your sister, White Snake! She doesn't even want to stay with you. That's not true. Don't believe her. Hmm. Look, this spell only allows her to appear here. She can't come back to life. If she stays here, she will only be a soul. And she certainly can't be happy. Those who have passed away should disappear completely. Don't be like me, holding on to old wounds and giving up everything to visit my lover only to be forgotten. How could you understand? <laughs> the intense pain overwhelmed the demoness, causing her to unleash all her power in one final strike. The battle was extremely brutal until the demoness magic beam was deflected and flew towards a man who was entering the cemetery. Before Green and White Snake could do anything, the demoness rushed at the terrifying speed and blocked the man taking the full force of her own magic. <laughs> you foolish idiot! Even though I knew this magic wouldn't affect him, I still unconsciously wanted to protect him. The man walked through the demoness and quietly knelt beside the grave. He tidied up the surroundings as if he had made a habit of doing it many times before. He told stories about recent events around him all trivial and insignificant. Ella, I came to tell you some news. I've met someone who gives me the motivation to keep on living. After you left, I neglected my own life and drowned myself in the worst days. Then that person appeared, telling me that you would never be happy if I wasn't happy. Ella, will you wish me happiness? I will never forget you, because you are the most important person to me, in the past, now, and forever. I bless you. Oh my, her body! <laughs> her soul has been purified. Ella is no longer a demoness. You are? This may be hard to believe, but I was Ella's old friend. She dreamed of wishing for your happiness. Ella! You saw Ella in your dream. Thank you. There is no more time. Let's quickly return to the land of the soul. <laughs> After the demoness walked through calmly, the gate gradually narrowed, <laughs> as if preparing to disappear forever. Sister, I have to go now. We were people of two worlds, and although we couldn't be together, we will all eventually find happiness in our good memories with each other. I understand. That's where I find my happiness too. I love you, sister. The two sisters smiled and said goodbye to each other, slowly watching <laughs> the gate close. Everyday life continued. 
and White Snake was very happy in the warmth of her family. She cared about her child's emotions and didn't force them to do things they didn't like anymore. The mother and daughter became close friends. Mom, this is a very strange thing. Do you think I've lost my mind? What happened? How could my daughter lose her mind? Do you and Dad believe that we can meet the deceased? Yesterday, I met someone who had passed away in my dream. Yes, I believe. <laughs> A picture of a chaotic and bizarre wedding took place. But who were they and what happened to them? Let's explore together. Deep in the dark forests, that dangerous place, there was a special and frightening hotel named Transylvania. This place belonged to the great Count Dracula, who only welcomed monster guests to visit until his beloved daughter, Mavis, fell in love with a human boy who dared to overcome countless challenges to prove their love. Huh? Finally, Dracula allowed the two to get married and agreed to welcome humans to live here. After organizing the wedding for his daughter, Dracula thought that life would always be peaceful and happy. But gradually, he discovered that Mavis was always curious about modern human life. She was always buried in technological devices, wanting to travel to the human world, living in a modern style without magic. Meanwhile, for Dracula, the Hotel Transylvania and the magic-filled things were the most interesting places. However, the differences in opinions, interests between the two only grew larger, and no one wanted to listen or empathize with the other's position or feelings. Therefore, Jonathan always had to step in to resolve the problems, conflicts, and differences between Dracula and his daughter, even on his own birthday. <sighs> Honey, we always have a tradition of celebrating birthdays by playing bingo with the monster group, having tea parties, and so on. But Dad, Jonathan is a modern human, so he will definitely like these types of birthday parties and gadgets. While Jonathan was upset about the argument between Dracula and his daughter, suddenly, Mavis' best friend, Werewolf's granddaughter, Emma, appeared. Hello, Hotel Transylvania. I've been on a trip. I heard it's Mavis' husband's birthday today, so I have a gift. Emma, you're back. Please help me advise Mavis huh? a few words. Emma, you're back. Please help me advise Dad a few words. Emma was confused about what was happening and had to listen to the debate between Dracula and his daughter. Even Emma's fashion style was somewhat similar to humans. So Mavis admired it and wanted to own these outfits. My little mouse, you cannot wear those kinds of clothes like humans do. It's too weird, strange, and completely unsuitable for our elegant and sophisticated style. But I'm not a little kid anymore. I also want to do things that I like. Please don't forbid my hobbies anymore. <sighs> Unfortunately, when Dracula and his daughter argued, they ruined Emma's gift for Jonathan. Can anyone please listen to each other's opinions for a bit? I just want a fun birthday party with everyone. <gasps> However, if everyone continues to argue like this, I will go to my room. And until both of you are willing to listen and understand each other's perspectives, then come find me. Jonathan returned to his room while Dracula and huh? Mavis continued to sulk about the recent chaos. Meanwhile, hmm. Emma smiled mysteriously and left. The next day, when Dracula and his daughter came to apologize to Jonathan, they heard no response hmm. from him. The two of them became worried and tried to break into his room. But all they found was a messy room and Jonathan was gone. Hmm. Then, they found a letter intentionally left nearby. Mavis, I never thought you would have such an interesting human husband. But it seems like you and your father are not very fond of Jonathan. So I took him to a better place to live. 
Hmm. Dracula and Mavis observed the traces around and discovered Emma's footprints leading to her ride out on the other side of the forest. Therefore, hmm. although the two father and daughter were still hmm. angry, they hmm. had to cooperate with each other hmm. to find Jonathan. Hmm. Unfortunately, hmm. today the sun was shining brightly and the sunlight was one of the weaknesses of vampires like Dracula and his daughter. Dracula was worried about how to travel in the sunlight when Mavis quickly found a magic mirror and used it with the potion. Honey, what you doing? Right now, Jonathan and I just gave the magic mirror a new job. That is to help it become a smartphone like humans. And look, the magic mirror is helping me order a horse-drawn carriage. Hmm. In no time, a horse-drawn carriage arrived at the gate of Hotel Transylvania. <laughs> I didn't expect that turning some magic items into technological devices for communication would be so interesting and convenient for humans. That's why I like human life like this. Hmm? After they traveled the distance, the hmm? horse suddenly stopped and couldn't continue. Dracula and his daughter looked outside and saw thorny bushes everywhere, making it difficult to pass through. Moreover, this place was like a maze of thorns, so they couldn't determine the direction to move. Therefore, Dracula gave his cloak to Mavis. Although my father and I are still quarreling with each other, if he didn't have this cloak, he would also be affected by the sunlight. I can't let him suffer. Hmm. When Mavis hmm? was about to return the cloak to Dracula, hmm. he quickly stopped her. Uh, after all, I am a thousand-year-old vampire, hmm? so my magic and endurance are better than hmm? yours. Besides, this little sunlight won't affect my magic and health. After that, Dracula tried to fly forward to ask about Jonathan's situation with Emma's strange creatures. At first, they didn't provide any information about Jonathan's whereabouts, which made Dracula angry. However, Dracula quickly used the hypnotic powers of the vampire to make them show him the way to Jonathan. Hmm. Sometimes using magic is really effective and quick in these situations. Of course, honey. But before that, the performance with your magic mirror was not bad either. Dracula smiled and walked forward with Mavis. Finally, Dracula and Mavis found Emma's cave. But when they entered, they saw Jonathan being forced to marry her. Mavis angrily rushed towards Emma. Emma immediately ordered her accomplices to use mirrors to reflect sunlight and make Mavis unable to move. Dracula was worried and panicked when he saw this, but then he saw Mavis' magic mirror nearby. Unwillingly, Dracula tried to use the magic mirror and quickly ordered a giant umbrella. Very quickly, a package was sent to Emma's cave in the surprise of Dracula. Then, he hurriedly used it to shield his daughter from the sunlight. I didn't expect these things to be so much like magic. It's very good and can easily request anything I need. If there is time in the future, I also want to explore the modern world with you and Jonathan. I am very willing to do so. But Emma still refused to let go of Jonathan and Dracula's father-daughter duo. What are you standing there for? Hurry up and tear that umbrella apart. Dracula, furious, glared at the wolves to intimidate them. But it only made them more aggressive, attacking towards them because these wolves were always attracted and stimulated by things that were rare. Therefore, Mavis quickly requested the magic mirror to create a red laser beam to subdue the wolves. As Mavis began to create the laser from the mirror, both Emma and her wolf subordinates were excited. 
chasing after the laser beam. Taking advantage of that opportunity, mm -hmm. father-daughter duo flew quickly to them and took down each one, rescuing Jonathan. But when Mavis was about to punch Emma, Jonathan intervened. Mavis, please stop! This was just mm -hmm. a challenge that we planned! What? It turned out that Jonathan, to avoid Dracula and his daughter from getting angry at each other, had conspired with Emma to kidnap him and reconcile their relationship as before. Sorry for not telling you this earlier, Mavis. It's okay. Thank you both for helping us understand that technology and magic both have strengths and weaknesses. What we need to know is how to use them appropriately and efficiently to complete the task. Mm. And the important lesson is that in a family, we also need to take the time to share and understand each other's experiences, mm. as well as not be too conservative with what they love, causing harm to others' opinions and preferences. Finally, <laughs> The Dracula family was able to reconcile with each other and prepare for new things in the future.